That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. Good morning. Hello. It is me, Lindsay. How are you? How are you? I thought I would do another day in the life thing today because I felt like it. I hope you don't mind. So I've got a few things that I need to do today. I need to be packaging a few orders, obviously. <laughs> oh. And go to the post office and I need to do a bit of drawing and I need to take a couple of photos and just a lot of really nice lovely things. So I thought I would film you. Yeah, uh, let's get started. <laughs> I'm so shiny. <laughs> that was great. I had a great time. I am health. Right, okay, so after that half hour of I started having these shakes. Um Brian bought them because he eats too much and they're kinda like meal replacing shakes, but they're like packed full with vitamins, fuel. Because I really want to share my fitness journey with you guys. I'm on a road that's quite long, but I can see the finish line. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I'm up to with my fitness. I just like them because it takes 30 seconds to make and then you don't have to make lunch. So I am going to make them now. Let's go. Simba. time for me to package orders. I did quite a lot yesterday that are ready to go today and I have a few more because t-shirts have just been delivered today as well but I'm gonna get ready first, hold on. Much better. Right, let's do this. That didn't actually take me nearly as long as I thought it would because I did most of it last night. But Brian is home and he got a new tattoo. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll show you. So you can't really see. But it's basically like a camera aperture, but it's like all teeny tiny flowers. And not lame. Hold on, let me focus. You can't really see. Whereas the bit that's not. There you go. It's so nice. Because you've got your other arm tattooed, but this is like a totally different thing. A totally different arm. <laughs> so who did it? Ellie McCarry. At where? She's very good at rock and roll tattoo. Cool. And I'll be going back. Are you going to be moaning for the rest of the day? Well, I've had my McDonald's for being a good boy, so maybe. maybe. <laughs> maybe. Right, so up next I am taking a photo for March Meets the Maker, um, which I've been doing over on my Instagram if you want to check it out, eh? It's basically a challenge that's been set up by a girl called Joanne. I'll put her thing here. Here you go. That every March, makers or kind of people who have their own business, things like that, she has a 30 day challenge 
where it's a list of prompts and then you put out something for each day. I've been doing it well so far. I've not missed a day yet. Um, I failed dramatically last year towards the end, but this year I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna be prepared. The one for tomorrow is product range and we're out tomorrow and we're like, we're busy. So I'm not gonna get a chance to do it. So I'm just gonna do it just now. So I'm thinking of just having like a kind of a flat lay of my products. So I'm gonna have like prints, t-shirts and tote bags and just try and make it look all nice. Oh, is it getting dark? Ugh. But yeah, brings me on to my next point, is that I feel like I've been battling with the light since, what, October time maybe, for filming videos, for taking photos, like the amount of times that I've started a video to film for YouTube, um, got all ready, like got everything set up and it's just got dark or it's not got light at all some days. So that's a, that's a thing. There we go. There's a speech about the weather. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do this just now. I think that'll do. It's not great, but it'll do. It's kind of difficult to photograph flat prints without them being on a wall. I was thinking I could upload a picture of my stall at SDX, because you can kind of see everything, but I don't really have any new photos and I've kind of uploaded everything that I've done of that so far. So, I. Why does this have to be so hard? <laughs> I'm just trying to live my life. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this a good angle? I think this might be too high. <laughs> now I'm going to the post office. Woohoo! 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 See, I'm funny. You're not funny. I'm funny. What? Now I need to tidy all of this away. <sighs> but I'm gonna make a coffee. Mm. Yeah, gonna make a coffee and whilst it's brewing, because I use a cafetiere now. Cafetiere, cafetiere. I'm going to um, tidy this away, then I'm gonna have my coffee, and then I'm gonna do the <laughs> So time has passed, we ended up just um, sitting watching Catfish randomly um, after dinner and I've just been doing a little bit of sport drawing at the moment. So I'm currently drawing Monique Hart um, from like the drag queen, um, but it's her look from the finale um, last year when she was like, like out of the crowd when I think it was Asia O'Hara's butterflies died. I think that was when that happened. Anyway, blah blah blah. Um, I'm drawing that to snow, so I thought I would show you quickly if you want to see. I'll get you to do that whole jump into the computer thing now. Go. 
So yeah, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Here's our, the photo that I'm working from up here. And it's getting there. I am, <clears throat> I've just been spending time on our hair basically. It's obviously quite difficult because like this section of our hair is hidden by Vanjie. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of getting it. I'm gonna go in and add like more sweeps and like this little bit here and then just add like more tones and stuff. But I've got a new brush, which I made myself. I followed a YouTube tutorial. I'll make sure to link it at the bottom of this, um, this video, anyway. Um, but yeah, it's basically like this brush and it's built up of like four smaller dots. So when you draw, it's like, but like the more like pressure you add, like it layers up and it just looks like hair. It's so cool. So I've just been mucking about with that because I, I I can draw hair, but it takes me ages and I've just been looking at like other tutorials to try and speed things up a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, she doesn't have any eyebrows yet, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, um, I am going to have to stop just now though because we're away to have our dinner. Um, hold on, let's, let's resume this in the kitchen. This lighting. <laughs> Welcome to my layer. <laughs> Let's just need to wait for the lights to warm up. Is that a bit better? I think it's a bit better. Anyway, right, so for our dinner tonight, I was like, right, I'm vlogging today, and we've been really good recently, really, really good, and we've been following a lot of minimalist baker's recipe. My friend Lauren recommended her to me. Shut up, Lauren. Hope you're enjoying New Zealand. And they're all kind of vegan, you can obviously alter, like we're not vegan, we're not vegans. But just it just feels quite good like just like having like vegetables and rather than processed food. Because when we're busy we get into like a really really bad routine of just having like freezer food because it's obviously so convenient. But what we've started doing is like making big batches and then just keeping it in the fridge. And then just like one night when we're, we can't be bothered we can still just grab something really quick and then like pop it in the microwave. And yeah, it's um, we're having pizza tonight basically is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> uh, we're just having a wee meat feast and then we are both stopping to do work for a while because it's the second part of the Michael Jackson documentary that's been on, on Channel 4. I don't really want to talk about it too much because this is the happy vlog, woohoo! Um, but it's something that I really want to watch. Wait for my food slave to come. Oh. Anyway, bye. Oh, hello! I have time travelled. Ah. Yeah, I had to cut the vlog short there basically. I got like the worst migraine ever later on that night. To the extent that I had to go to bed, I could hardly get changed into my jammies. I had like full face of makeup on and like a big massive cold cloth like pushed into one eyeball. It wasn't great, so obviously I didn't feel like vlogging. So I thought I would just sit down and kind of talk about what I had planned for the rest of the day because I just want to mention it, okay? You'll have seen that one of the things that I wrote down in my bullet journal was read script and I am acting on a movie on Sunday which is a little bit hilarious. It's a film called Go Lassie Go and I've basically been brought in at the last minute because someone's had to pull out and it's not a massive role. It's been shot up in Dundee, like in Brotty Ferry and I've just got like a couple of lines and stuff but I, yeah, I need to read the whole script of the movie and yeah, it's a thing, <laughs> lol. But basically what I also want to talk about is that if you, have I actually ever mentioned it in the vlogs? I don't know if I have. But basically a couple of years ago when we still lived in Dundee, I was in two films, one called Waterproof and one called One Night Stand. And no, it wasn't a porno. Basically made by the guys at uh, Finger Click Productions. Oh no wait, oh I have spoken about it. And a vlog ages and ages ago, we went to go see a cast and crew screening of it. <laughs> we just watched a whole smoothie. Yeah, that one. So basically on Saturday the 23rd of March, uh, at one o'clock, both films are being screened at the DCA, It's just like the cinema in Dundee on the Perth Road. Um, so it's going to be one after the other, I think it's one night stand first, then waterproof. And you can get tickets for both films and they're only going to be £7. Um, so it's going to be really great and I don't know how I feel about being on a cinema screen. <laughs> <laughs> like for example, my mum got a new telly and it's like this fancy OLED thing and she's like, look it's great quality, I'll put on one of your vlogs to show you. And the fact that my face was even that big and in HD kind of freaked me out so I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this. 
Uh, yeah, but basically, if any of you are living in Dundee and you would like to go, then please do, please do. Um, will, I'll be there and other folk will be there. Um, yeah, that's all for just now. I just want to say thank you very, very much for watching and please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It lets me know if you like it. And we are almost at 200 subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you could hit the subscribe button as well. But until next time, bye. <laughs>